Hi folks. Well, here's another direct update note. We just released version 1.4.4. Now for Mac users, this one fixes a very scary bug that was brought on by the upgrade to Sierra. But the other big change in 1.4.4 is the new color bars control. So let's take a look. First, you will notice that the config menu has been moved from one of the tabs in the control window up to the top level of the program. When we pull it down, we see SPL color scale, air attenuation, global crossover, preferences, and shortcuts. All of these, with the exception of the first one, are the same as before. Let's look at that first one, the SPL color scale. The window is divided into two parts. The upper part controls the display, or the color bars themselves. The bottom part controls the system. At the very bottom is a button marked Load Default. This will get you back to the way Direct has worked from the beginning if you ever get lost. Let's look at the lower part first. In the past, all you could do was set the number for the bottom of the scale or the blue value. Now you can set the blue value and the system dynamic range. In the upper section, you can now choose the upper value and the lower value of the color bar, and there's this new feature called the step display. This gives you so much more control over the way your mapping is displayed. These settings are stored with your job file, so each job can have a custom setting. Let's take a quick look at how these controls might be used. Here's an audience and a single SH-50. Now in the old way, you could only control the blue level. So let's say that I wanted the hotspot to be red and really see how the pattern changes at the edges. Okay, first I turn on my step and set it to 3 dB per step. When you turn on the step display, you see the colors no longer blend into each other. It forms a sort of isobar. You can clearly see the transition from one level to another. Next, I would turn down the system span so the hotspot is nice and red. Well, it's silly to have the color bar go up to 140 dB when there's nothing on the screen anywhere near that level, so I might set the top color bar to some level just above the max, let's say 125. Obviously, there are no rules here. You can do whatever you need to do to get the most appropriate graphic for your situation. Well, that's it for this update note. Thank you for using Direct, and we'll see you next time.